<laughs> We're here with Rick Simo, uh, the winner of two classes at the 2022 Winner Champs. You took out GT and GTE. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just tell us a little bit about the day. Uh, wow. It was a very hectic day. Wanted to do uh, GTE, GT and also ran F1. So trying to do that in the time frame was just mental. Um, I've really got to put a big thanks to my son Adam coming down and he just, he was able to marshal for me and just gave me just a little bit more time to do and have a bit of fun. But uh, the competition was fierce, you know. Um, Cameron was super fast, he TQ'd. Uh, I didn't really have an answer for him. Um, I uh, have been trying to rebuild cars and stuff, getting them ready, and, and I've just made little silly errors and bits and pieces, but it was such a good day, such a great day. You know, the competition was fierce, and um, the cars went uh, pretty much flawlessly for me. The only failures were stuff that I didn't do up when I was rebuilding them. So yeah, it was a really great day. Yeah, I just want to touch on, on the Nitro final. So the 20 minute final, you had your son Adam pitting for you. Yes. Uh, he was under pressure because you were actually doing one extra pit stop to Cameron. So the fuel yeah. strategy kind of came into it. But uh, yeah, just talk us through what you were thinking before that final stop where you had a bit of buffer, but it was really up to Adam to get a clean pit stop. That was it. You know, like um, uh, I didn't, it was a, a fresh motor in, in this and I didn't really know what the fuel economy was like out of it. And um, Adam just was ballistic on his Oh, on the on the, the pitting coming in fuel bang get me out and I'm like that was so good um, Cameron was once again fast you know got tangled up a little bit at the start and I knew I had had the five minutes came in and I knew that was going to put me in a bit of a clear track and I could push really hard and get some good lap times in so um, for the when everything started to cycle through um, I had a really good uh, I sort of leapt him uh, for the second, for the second, uh, yeah, second fuel, and I came out just in front of Cameron, and I went, awesome, this is really good. Um, let's just push, 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 and uh, try to take it up another gear, be really smooth, consistent. Brought out a bigger gap, so when I came in for the fuel stop, then um, um, when Adam once again gave me a blistering quick um, pit um, refuel threw me back out and I was just behind Cameron. And I'm like, that has just negated the extra fuel back, stop. Back on sync with that, him in terms of yeah, strategies. Yeah, strategies, yeah. And I just went, it's game on now, you know, like, and then uh, I was able to drive around him and and then sort of gap him. And then it was just really good pit stops and open up a really good gap. You know, the car was awesome. Um, last two minutes, I have to admit, my two speed has locked up. So I was stuck in second gear. So uh, I was really thankful that it was only a 20 minute final, not a 30 minute final. And, uh, but I was able to take the win uh, at the end of it with um, GT. So yeah, awesome, it was a really fun race. Yeah, excellent mate. Well, uh, yeah, good to see your father and son cleaning up again and getting that top step on the podium. Mate, he's a good driver and I'd wish he'd get out there and he's just getting there. I'd rather help you Dad. I'm going, I love you both. So, yeah, thanks yeah. Hopes. Yeah, Thank you, Tony. That's what all about, so good stuff. Keep it up, good luck in the next one. Thank you very much. Just like to thank, once again, PDNR, the club, um, uh, Serpent, Walter Hobbies, um, Hobby Wing, and uh, the LIP batteries that I run for the GTA, and um, oh, uh, the Samwai gear um, for the, um, all my radio stuff as well. So, thanks heaps.